Buongiorno a tutti, welcome to Dinner in 15 uh, here at uh, Mama Bleep Cooking School. This is Filippo Bartolotto, your host, and Sara Lai, the chef. Buongiorno. This is Villa Gemma Cerasuolo d'Abruzzo is going to be our wine today, which is going to be paired to risotto with burrata cheese, anchovies and roasted bell peppers. I can't wait! I'll see you in a few minutes. Eccoci, buongiorno a tutti, welcome everybody, good morning. Uh, today I'm uh, super excited, actually I'm always excited when there is food and wine around. I have got Sarah, great Hi. chef, Quokka, and Hi. she is, she says, she claims that she's going to be able to cook risotto in 15 minutes time. So Less than 15 minutes. Not bad, not bad. I will surprise you. Okay, what's going to happen? Uh, I will cook... Uh, Risotto with burrata, anchovies, and I will roast a red bell peppers. Perfetto. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to get ready a Cerasuolo d'Abruzzo 2020 from uh, Masciarelli Winery. Villa Gemma is the line. Please. I will start to cook our ris risotto. I have fantastic technique. Uh, with you don't have to stir the risotto and see and and be there for 20 minutes 25 minutes but only 10 minutes you put the timer okay 10 minutes okay go you go put go the risotto man. and you had have, have prepared uh, the triple of the quantity of the rice okay so, so w rice one water three okay yes okay so 80 grams of risotto and 240 uh, grams oh, or whatever you guys want to do you just yes. triple it even if you use cups because yes. we know that our friends in north america love their cups so one cup of rice three cups of water now, I cannot see the timer, Viviana, any longer. So if you help us with that, that will be smashing and lovely. Uh, so, andiamo. I put the risotto and the water. Smash. And uh, the rice has to simmer for 10 minutes. Okay. Cover so, it and forget it. And forget about it. So We go to roast it our bell pepper in the oven at the maximum temperature for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, high temperature in the oven. We have our beautiful forno. Just like that. Andiamo. Voila. And uh, there you go. A questo punto, what's next? What's next? I will um, cut our anchovies filet okay, in sure. little strips. Go for it. If you do you need any help. No, thank you, please. <laughs> Okay, you're so very kind. you're, you're uh, chopping the, the anchovies. Okay, look at that. Tuck, yes. tuck, tuck. And then uh, uh, what, what's going to happen with the anchovies? Are they going to go with the risotto? On top, we will put... Later? Yes. Okay. At the end, we will finish our risotto mm -hmm. with anchovies filet and roasted bell pepper filet. I can't wait. Majorana. 
Okay, Marjorie? M Marjorie, thank you very mm -hmm. much. And uh, lemon zest. Lemon zest. You know why we use lemon zest instead of lemon juice? A lot of people say, why, why this lemon zest? Because here you have the essential oil of the lemon. And what's going to happen is you're just going to get this phenomenal citrus, perfume, uh, oily uh, aromas that are going to Mediterranean. Stick you, very Mediterranean. And they're going to cut a little bit the fatness of the dish, in this case, burrata, which, by the way, is, has got to be one of the most luscious cheese on the planet. Yeah. Um, have you ever made burrata from scratch? Have you? No. No? You know, I did. I went to Puglia, and uh, you basically get this phenomenal... You suck from the milk, and all of a sudden, you get this creamy mozzarella filled with so much creaminess. Buonissimo. Allora, vediamo cosa stai facendo. I am cutting the burrata okay. that I will put at the end in the rice. After 10 minutes, we will... Um, we will take out of the fire. Perfetto. And we will put burrata parmigiano for the mantecatura. Va bene, vediamoli. Let's see the, all these steps as we go ahead because otherwise uh, our friends are not going to be able to see what's really, uh, what they really have to do. Yes. In the meanwhile, I'm cracking open the bottle. Do you think I can do that or you need... Uh... No, please, please. Si, vado. Allora, apriamo questa bottiglia. What temperature do you serve? rosé wines. Well, it depends on the body of the wine, but, uh, you know, as a rule of thumb, you want to be around 12 degrees. Of course, when it's really hot, steaming summer, you have to go lower in the temperature. I forgot salt inside. Pinch of salt? A pinch of salt because, of course, ancho anchovies are s salted. Allora, uh, look at the color here. Luigi, she say... Actually, Luigi is the real name of our cameraman because you know that Luigi sounds like a, I'm giving an Italian name to a guy. His name is Luigi. Yes. Like in Cars, the cartoon, you know, Luigi is the... Si. Cinque, is that the Cinquecento, maybe? Or, or, the, or the other... It's, I love Cars. By the way, color, Cerazuolo. What does it mean? Cerasa in uh, Italian uh, dialect is cherry. And it's the color of a cherry. That's why Cerazuolo is the name of the wine. D'Abruzzo, in this case, this is Montepulciano d'Abruzzo that you, I'm sure you know if you're here today for the very black, inky, driven color. And uh, in this I case, it's the... transparent. How come? How do you make rosé? Well, you know how when you make red wines, you've got the sugar here, alcohol is here, fermentation starts, the sugars go down, and in two weeks, you have alcohol and no sugars left. During this period, it's when red wines become red. So instead of two weeks, if you keep the skin in contact with the juice only for a few hours, the result is going to be this smashing rosé color. This is not a Provencal kind of rosé. You know, I'm, a lot of people, it's very fashionable to go for super light pearl rosé color. This is Cerazuolo. It has to be this kind of color. On the nose, you do have sour cherries, strawberries, mountain strawberries, and pomegranate. Mm. On the palate, the wine is crunchy. More sour cherries than black cherries. Lots of acidity. Actually, a little bit of uh, citrus and grapefruit. Now, what wine is it exactly? Villa Gemma is the name of the line of the wine. Monte, uh, scusate, Cerasuolo d'Abruzzo Superiore. And is a 2020 vintage. Gianni Masciarelli produced this wine the first time in 1986. And um, today is Marina running the show with a daughter. I have to take out the bell pepper. Bell pepper, we're almost ready. I'm going to pour a drop of rosé for you, Sarah. Thank you. Oh, Sarah. guarda che colore. Ma davvero, cacchio. That's, that looks like real. It yeah. wasn't just a game there. No. The oven is on. Yes. It's not just a TV show. Man, that's good. It's not a show. It's, it's a show, but it's not a it's show. Real. Va it's bene. real. Cosa facciamo a questo punto? We have to uh, take off the um, peel, okay. the skin. Go for it. Andiamo. 
You know how I like uh, that. That was very quick, actually, because when yeah. I, I I love to put the uh, the, the pepper like that for the oven, an hour. Of course, but no, 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 no. It's a vegetable, so it's made by uh, okay. water, eighty percent. And the water is gone. And the water six is minutes, gone. forty seconds. Okay. Are you, still, are you still confident that you're gonna make it? Of course. <laughs> I'm sure, you not know, confident. I can make risotto, but like, if you say, were well, you gonna make a risotto with burrata and uh, whatever the ingredients are like in 15 minutes? Forget about it. <laughs> but not in dinner in 15, of course. We have to make it. Otherwise, the show is not gonna go on. Viviana, c'era suolo. Yes, I said, okay, okay, contatto con le bucce. I said it though, I love because, I love, I love you Viviana. Si, 24 ore in contact <laughs> with the skins. Uh, let's be more precise. I said two weeks for any red wine to be made. No, thank you Viviana, because actually uh, we see some of the questions that are coming up are those kind of questions. So how come that you make rosé uh, with red varieties? Exactly like that, but instead of spending two weeks you know, during the fermentation, the alcohol is going to be extracting color from the skin. So what's going to happen in 24 hours a day is that instead of extracting a lot of black color, you're just going to be having a little bit of a pinkish color. That's the secret. So what's happening next? The skin is going to be thrown away and that juice is going to keep fermenting to get rid of all the sugar and then once again, in roughly 10 days, 15 days, the fermentation is over and the wine is going to be resting for a little bit. Then it's going to go into the bottle and then it's going to come to Mama Bleep Cooking School with Sara. Guardate il colore, Luigi, facciamo vedere un po' questa this bellezza incredibile. This is our roasted bell peppers and I've made, and I've made like a tartare. Ma sembra una tartare. You can use a food processor if you want. No. But it's... Fantastic to have the different Fantastic. texture. No salt at this moment. No at all. But like, let me ask you a question. Four minutes, 50 seconds, by the yeah. way. Our timer is done. So after 10 minutes, you uh, keep the cover on the pan. For okay. Two minutes because it has to rest our risotto and then you take it off. Okay, perfetto. A questo punto andiamo. And you mantecca. And by the way, I mantecchi. cannot wait. I cannot wait to see that pepper to meet that white burrata together with the green of the marjorie. This is it, Ali. You know what I'm talking about. So. Andiamo. Tac, tac, a Risotto tac. has to be a londa, has to make a wave. Okay. So that's the mantecatura to yes. release, uh, to release, to, to make the risotto become creamy. Yeah, the starch. And by the way, you will notice there is no broth. Risotto is not always produced with broth. Actually, the, some of the greatest chefs are going to be using only uh, uh, natural water. Only water, yeah, because with, with the broth, it becomes too dirty. Too dirty, too, too intense. Yeah, 3 minutes and 40, are you sure? Fantastic. She seems confident. Uh, by the way, I, I'd like to mention here a couple of friends, the Costardi brothers, with a beautiful restaurant. They are the kings of risotto. Once you try their risotto, then it's gonna be difficult and to try other risotto. Try mine. But let's see if Sarah is up to the game. She is up to the game. Guardate, in un nanosecondo, in a split second, risotto is becoming super, super creamy. With that kind of work, you gotta go like a, be like a, like a tennis player. Just go for it, go for it. Ta -ta -ta. Yeah. And it's, and it's turning creamy every second it's becoming creamier and creamier. Bellissimo, tra l'altro, quest'idea del colore, the idea of this white risotto at this point, it looks super innocent. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that, it's so beautiful. And look with the, with the uh, rosé, the color is perfect. Oh, and the burrata is just becoming, look at the creaminess. Okay, pronti? Don't touch. Voila. Don't touch this. Da, na, na, na. This is going to become our soundtrack. Si, sì, vero. No <laughs> way. Very no quick. way. I would never, ever have produced something like so simply because I usually mix and match and do lots of stuff because I'm afraid that I'm not going to be having enough flavors in my dish. But ancora, once again, let me ask you, no salt in the pepper? 
no salt, uh, just a little bit inside the uh, risotto. Pre preparation. Because you also have the anchovies. Yeah, the anchovies. And then, uh, Marjorie, Viviana, non vediamo più il tempo. Uh, Marjorie is gonna add up some sapidity to the dish. And guys, herbs. Get lots of herbs on your terrace, on your garden, whatever you've got, because that is a great substitute to salt. Yes. And uh, is uh, the lots of antioxidants. Uh, I want to have my phone. I want to take a picture of this dish. Do you know what I'm saying? But me, I need a little bit of black phone? pepper, and because we're talking about Mediterranean. Okay. A drop of. By the way, thank you, Marina. Oil. Thank you, Marina Masciarelli, uh, for. Believing on this project because these guys uh, voilà. gave us their wines and trusted us. They, they just basically were said, we're going to cook something and we're going to see if it works. Is it going to work? Well, in terms of color, look at this. Match made in heaven. Let's see in terms of flavors. I feel like I'm in Labrador right now. <laughs> just like a, a salivating. E proviamo. Allora, prendo tutto insieme. Si. Sì. Prendo il risotto, uh, the anchovy the pepper, marjorie, and give it a shot. I like your hand, Buono simplicity. You like the wine? Yes. I like your food. I think we are a perfect wine and food couple. Let me try it with the, if it works. Si. I love the marjorie touch. Si. Oh, Viviana mm. says 30 seconds, mm. actually 25, funziona. Once again, funziona perfettamente. Why? Because you have the sweetness uh, of the cerasuolo mm. that goes really well with the peppers. Sì. The burrata, which is quite fat, is actually uh, cleaned by this wine. The marjorie, non si vede più il tempo. Marjorie is adding some extra Mediterranean layers. Yes. Um, and the lemon. And, and it's over. Yes. And it's over. Grazie per aver cucinato this amazing Grazie risotto. Grazie for the wine. And uh, follow our social media, subscribe our channel, and uh, get on the next directa, on the next live, for more recipes, for more, more ingredients, and above all, for more wines. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ma posso mangiarlo adesso? Certo. Perfetto.